If you are someone who struggles with reading research papers or staying focused while reading research papers, I want to introduce you to the software Audemic today. And Audemic is actually the sponsor of this video. So for me, as someone who is autistic, I really struggle with reading research papers. And so I wanna show you how I use this software to be able to read different research papers that are of interest to me and that I want to do deep dives on. So this is Audemic, and the first thing we can do to add in a new research paper is you can use any PDF, and you can click on New Paper. When you click on New Paper, you can either upload your PDF in or pull in PDFs from Zotero, and if you're interested in seeing how that works, leave me a comment down below and I will create that video for you. Before I get started, I do wanna let you know if you're interested in following along on Audemic, you can use the link in the description below and there's also a discount code if you're interested in a paid version of it. And so the first thing we're gonna do is upload a PDF. And so it brings up this upload box and we can choose a file or drag and drop our file in. I'm going to add this file. It's a paper that I published so we can see how it does. And then it allows you to select the language. And so you can see there's two different languages here and then it allows you to select the voice. And so there are four different voices here and I'll give you a quick preview of each one. So a masculine American voice. Welcome to Audemic, my name is Oliver and I will be your research assistant. And then we have a feminine American voice. My name is Emma and I will be your research assistant. And then we have a feminine British voice. My name is Amy and I will be your research assistant. And the last one is a masculine British voice. Welcome to Audemic. My name is Arthur and I will be your research assistant. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Arthur and I am going to press continue upload. And once I've done that, you can see my new paper appears here. It gives me the authors for it, and it gives me the approximate time it will take me to read it, which is about 14 minutes. If I click on it, I can actually see the actual paper. And so the first thing that it generates is these key statements here. This is generated as kind of a summary to, of your article. And so you can look at the different key statements. The nice thing about Audemic is it actually allows you to listen to your paper instead of having to solely read your paper. So for example, I can just click play and it'll start playing these key statements for me. This study examines the use of metal adducted multima formation to spectrometry mass spectrometry to graphic separation. Five sets of steroid isomers. So you can already see that first key statement had a lot of words in it that a lot of just general AI voices would get, would get the pronunciation wrong with. Now this is a tiny bit of a British pronunciation, which is a little bit different than the American pronunciations I'm used to hearing. But overall, all of that was said correctly, where I feel like a lot of other AI assistants that haven't been trained on scientific content would pronounce these things incorrectly and it could get really confusing as you're trying to listen to it, which is why using a software specifically meant for scientific papers is really helpful when you're trying to have it read to you. The other nice thing about this is I can go up to appearance and I can click this read along. And what that will do is it'll actually highlight the word that it's saying. Ease of separation in TWIMS MS from distinct mobility features to baseline resolution. Some isomer pair distributions when in a mixture comp And so you can see this can help you if you're trying to read it and not just listen to it to actually be able to stay focused. This is actually something that my video editor does because I struggle so much with editing, especially with staying focused. I can read the transcript of my video while listening to it and that helps me to be able to edit more effectively. And this way of doing it helps me to be able to understand the information more effectively. A couple of other changes and customizations you can make within Audemic is you can change the appearance. So you can change the background color so you can make it light or dark, peach and yellow if you're interested in that, I prefer dark. You can change the typeface and they specifically have an accessibility font known as Open Dyslexic. If you are dyslexic and having trouble for reading for that reason, you can do that as well. You can change the font size so you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need. And then you can change the line spacing as well so you can have the lines closer together or further apart. So that's how you can change the appearance. You can also change the audio and specifically how quickly does it read to you. So if you come down here, you have this playback. And with 
this playback, you can see it's automatically set to one and I can slide to adjust the speed or I can click one of these specific speeds down here. So if I click 2X and play. Collision question is an unknown mix. So you can tell that that's now speaking a lot faster. So if you are better at listening faster or slower, you can do that. So while it has starts at one down here, you can adjust to go lower all the way down to half times the speed. So those are a few ways that you can modify the environment and listening to Audemic. Another thing you can do is actually change the sections. So you can see here, it automatically identified my sections. These are some method sections and then some result sections here. If I wanted to move my abstract all the way to the end, I can click on it and drag it and put it all the way down right before my references. So now I don't have to listen to that first. You can choose what order you want to listen to things in. You also always have the original figures and PDF available. If you go to your figures tables and original PDF, you can look in here for all of the original PDF that's involved there. Hi guys, I'm coming in from the future because I did want to make sure that you guys knew that Audemic actually has a companion app available. So you can go to the Play Store or the Apple Store to be able to find and download the Audemic Scholar companion app. And with this app, you can basically access your papers on the go. So I'm gonna show it up here, but I have all of the papers that I uploaded. So this is the one that we've been working with. And you can see that I can easily navigate to the different sections. So if I wanted to listen to the abstract, I can go ahead and click play. Can present some complex analytical challenges. While chromatographic methods require long. And I can actually still change the appearance here and change the playback speed here. So if you're on the go or you're sitting and waiting for something and you wanna go ahead and listen to your papers, you can do that within the Audemic Companion app. Now back to how to take notes on the website. The other thing that I really like about Audemic and what I think sets Audemic apart from a lot of other similar tools is the ability to actually store knowledge. And so you can actually highlight within your paper as you're listening to it and take notes on that section. So for example, if I wanted to highlight this sentence here because I think it's something important and I'm going to want to reference later, highlighting it within here doesn't make a lot of sense because you have to come back and find it and you don't know when you're listening to it whether it was highlighted or not. But I can, whenever you highlight or select text, you can click this highlight button and then you can save it to a board. And so if I save this to the board steroids, now I can go back and I'm gonna go to my notes and click on my steroids board. And you see that this is what I just saved in here and I have some other notes that I've already saved. And so these are the different notes that I have. And so when you're reading through something and you know you might want to use something later, you can highlight over it and save it and that will allow it to appear in a single section for you to have all of your notes together. What is also great about this is you can actually export out these notes. So when I'm in my steroids board, I can click download CSV. So you can see once I've downloaded this, it gives me three columns. For this, it gives me the highlights, so the specific words that were included in it, the paper that it came from, and then the publication or the authors that were a part of that paper so that you can see um, that information. So you could then take this and put it into something like Notion to organize your thoughts or Obsidian or anything like that that accepts CSVs. And so that is one way to extract out the information that you've saved from different papers on a given topic. If you are interested in Audemic, I will have the link to Audemic below and I will also have a discount code available for you if you would like to purchase a paid version of Audemic. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.